we build on that moon cycle, yo. The moon cycle. You gotta jump into it, man. The real savage. All right, so we're gonna start the new year off real soon, and we're gonna see why a lot of things took place in the so called July 4th era or area. You know what I mean? Because this is how we map our months. We can use this, the sun uh, whole little calculation as well, but that'll be able to, we have to use that to map the moon calculation within it. Just like your woman is in tune with the moon, she have a moon every certain amount of days or whatever. And then it's like, boom, she has a period where she chill out. Same difference, you know what I'm saying? With the whole scheme. I love it. Had to turn that back. We got one, one proud. That's it. But anyway, so, um, you know, so basically, you know, get in tune with the true solar, you know, calendar, we'll see that do the, the Sabbath on, on the quarters and the full moons and the, you know, and the new moon days. And this is how we tell this. Because they've been doing it. They've been using this science on us all day. Every day since for a while already. And shit. So they'll make you think that, you know, the Sabbath is on the Saturday or some shit like that. And you'll be like, we're thinking it's Saturday. You're on the Sabbath. And they got you off. Really, the Sabbath is on the full moon, the quarter moons, you know what I'm saying? And the new moons. We just had a new moon on the 8th. So now, the Sabbath comes seven days after that. Boom. So we're going to be in the new year now. We're in the 10th month. We're about to be in the 11th month when it hits June and that new month, when that new moon hits. You know? and then, boom, the new year hits right in July. And that's the true new year. That's how you sell it. That's how you see it, you know, in the actual, you know, solar celestial thing. We're just putting it out there real quick, you know what I mean? So I'm just touching in. I'm not getting too serious when I'm relaxing and doing it, like I said. I'm get to the watermelon right here, but they be making fun of, you know what I mean? So cut that thing up, man, and get it right in their face. They be like, you know, watermelon be swole, like the righteous, especially when you're keepers and all that good stuff in the game. You know? Yeah, and make it nice and, uh, like, baby, look! She be like, she be excited, you know what I mean? She, you've been working it out. Anyway, so yeah, so moon cycle. So that's pretty much what it is, you know. Uh, so seven days after the 8th, that's gonna be the Sabbath. And seven days after that, you know what I'm saying? As many rest on the Sabbath day, you'll be in tune and accord with the universe, with the solar system, all the celestial events going on. And you'll be on the map with the, with the angels in the upper room. That's pretty much what we gotta get everybody in the whole world to go. Cause while they already they got it already mapped out in astrology, that's why they have it out there. It's like wait for you to catch on and shit. You know what I mean? Even though they switched the nodes, they switched the nodes on you, you know. And uh, and they tried to give you, you know, this tropical. Well, we're gonna use tropical too, you know what I mean? And also because it's gonna have a mixture of a little bit of Vedic in there also. So you got the tropical thing. You gotta go back and look at the Vedic as well. Not all the whole little thirteen signs. They just putting everything in there. But you know, we already know that the thirteen signs is correlating around the moon. And that's just where I'm at. You know, with the moon, the new year's coming up, boom, July. So you'll see, start calculating on the moons now, so we all can be in tune and we do the Sabbath like that. That's what the most high is getting us. I try, I'll let y'all, and then to the next one. Peace.